Hello everyone. Hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, we'll learn together how to create outstanding galleries on WordPress using WP Media Folder plugin gallery feature. What I really like with this plugin is that it's really connected to the native WordPress media library and really easy to use, even if you're a WordPress beginner. We'll learn how to create galleries, use all the themes, insert them into your WordPress and many other things, let's dig into it. In the first sequence we'll learn how to create a gallery with WordPress media and also with local media. First thing to know is that the gallery management is located in the WordPress admin menu called Media Folder Galleries under Media. It's also possible to manage galleries from your content, for example from Elementor or the WordPress editor, but we'll see that later in this video. Let's start a gallery from scratch. I'm clicking on the Add New Gallery button. In my top left screen then create new gallery. Okay, let's add a title here and I'll keep the default theme for now. Great, that's just an empty gallery but it's a start. Now I'll use some of my images from the WordPress media library to create a gallery. Let's select images in this folder and create a gallery. There are folders because the plugin WP Media Folder add many features to the WordPress media library including media folder management. Nice, the gallery is created, of course I can add some local images to the gallery also here. Now let's wait for all the images to be uploaded and we can jump to the next sequence with the gallery configuration. Okay now let's focus on the gallery settings, I'll just click on the second tab on top of the gallery. Actually there are 8 themes available and some of them come with variation like the default one called masonry. The masonry theme is a photo wall we use to see on various social media, Google Photos. Well I can click on the preview tab also, so you can see how it looks like. This is the masonry layout with the default hover effect. Now let's see what are the settings available for this one. First there is the vertical and horizontal layout. If I switch to horizontal and let's say change the row height to 300 pixels, now lock the preview, this is in horizontal alignment, like the one you have in Google Photos. Then you have many design setup for mouse hover and for text display settings, this is pretty advanced. Just bellow that you have something very interesting that is the gallery's image size that will be used. For now, I will use the medium size as default size when the image is not clicked, and the large size when the image is clicked. This is a pretty interesting setting as it helps optimize the image loading time depending of the image size you want. Finally you have the option to activate gallery navigation, it navigation among gallery levels, we'll see that later. Also there's image tag, it's a filter system to display only image with certain tags, we'll also see that later in the video. At the bottom you have a shortcode that contains all the gallery settings, that is pretty useful to edit them later. You can also use one of the plugin block or widget, whatever you call it, directly in your page builder like Elementor or DV Builder. Now let's see another theme that is pretty unique but kind of particular to configure. This is the one called Custom Grid. Let's assign the theme and come back to my image list. As you can see here there's now a small handle at the bottom of the image that you can drag. It means you can create a custom masonry layout. It's something I like, because sometimes you want to show an important photo in a larger size. All the other photos are automatically aligned. Let's say I want the first one and the last one to be bigger. Maybe because it's the landscape I see every morning. Now check the live gallery preview, it's nice and seems pretty well aligned. Now let's check with the preview all the other themes available. Here's the default theme, that squared and align image with hover effect. The second one is the masonry we've just checked earlier, so let's switch to the third one called portfolio, it looks like the first, but there's variation the front end and configuration is a bit different. The fourth one is the slider theme, as you can see it's a multi-column slider and I can change the column number from the settings, let's make it with bigger images with two columns. The fifth is the flow slide theme, 
Basically that's a slider with a great 3D transition effect. The square grid is, as his name stated, a squared style photo list, let's set up five columns to see how it looks like. Okay that's an alternative to the masonry theme we've seen earlier. The material theme now, it's a reference of the image display style and the material design styling. Looks good too. Finally, here's the custom grid we've detailed in the previous sequence. If you want to watch more theme demo of this gallery plugin, you can do it from the plugin dedicated page. You'll find all the theme detailed with settings. Just follow the link from the video description. Now before going live with our galleries and adding them into our WordPress content, I would like to show you a very special plugin feature. As you know the plugin we're showing is called WP Media Folder and this is the gallery add-in. Now let's go back to the WordPress Media Library. As you can see on the left side and main screen, we have some media folder and subfolders or organize our media. I can navigate through them and of course upload images and videos. Now how about using them to create galleries in 10 seconds? This is what I'm going to show you and also how to automatically update the gallery content according to the images located in a folder. Let's go for that. I'm going back to the media folder galleries menu, click on add new gallery button. I have the choice to select quick gallery from folder action. Let's say I want a landscape gallery, so I'm selecting this folder. Also, I know there are images in this one. And, boom! I have my gallery created with all the folder images in it. Finally, there's this amazing feature called Auto Add Image in Folder that will update the gallery automatically when you add a new photo in a folder. Also, when you hover the images with your mouse, there's an icon identifying that's that's automatic images from a folder. Now let's add our galleries into the WordPress content and see how it's look like from frontend. Now let's open the home page of my website. Hear that a website build with Elementor, but as I have mentioned earlier it also works like that with all the major page builders on the market. We'll check the integrations on the product page at the end. Now that my Elementor page is loaded, I can search for the content widget, let's type gallery and see how it goes. Okay it's here, let's drag the gallery block into the page content. Great, there are no images yet because I haven't selected the gallery I want to load. Here is the option, let's select my space gallery. Now I have my gallery in my WordPress page. As you can see in this widget you also have the essential gallery settings. Let's change the masonry display to horizontal. Perfect, now let's save my page and make a live preview. Okay, I have my gallery with lightbox. Let's try another theme like slider. With 1 to 1 image ratio to keep things square. That's it. Let's finish this video with the advanced front-end navigation features from the demonstration website. To finish this video, I wanted to mention the multi-level gallery navigation. Basically, this is the navigation between galleries you have in the WordPress admin that you can load on frontend. Here I can move my galleries and make some of them sub-galleries. Then, when you select this setting to add it on frontend, you have the gallery navigation like on this demo page. That's pretty convenient if you have a massive amount of image to classify by theme, for example. Next, there's the filter system. When you click on an image, you have a setting to add a tag to the image. It's just words in fact, but it's called tags as it generates automatically filter on frontend. Let's check that on the demo page. Finally, and now that really the end, let's check the integrations with other plugins or services that the gallery plugin has. There are many WordPress plugin integration with their respective content blocks, widget or module, whatever their names are.
Also one that's more interesting there are many cloud integration, meaning that you can host your images on those systems, whether it's for performance purpose or just for the storage offered. Google Photos is one of my favorite because you can share a Google Photos account and import galleries from albums. This plugin is available at $69 with all these integrations we've just seen. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any question using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful link we've talked about in the description. Have a nice day, bye.